Ladies and gentlemen, App Inventors Deluxe, a quick tutorial on doing multiple screens in App Inventor. This is a tutorial I've wanted to do for a little while. I want to do it a little more uh, complex, uh, but I've decided just to make it very simple, and um, probably most of you can extrapolate um, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to add uh, some screen arrangements and use those to create multiple screens. So this is just kind of an overview of what we're doing. We're going to use multiple arrangements to hide and reveal screens. And we, we would uh, maybe call those uh, virtual screens because they're not really different screens. And I can't spell obviously. Uh, place We're going to place two horizontal arrangements in the viewer. Typically we use a viewer. Eh, let's make vertical. Let's make those vertical because they act more like the actual screen. So we'll place two vertical arrangements in the viewer. We'll place a button in each arrangement to change the screens. Um, and then we'll place some elements in the screen so we can tell that we've changed the screens when we do. All right, let's do that real quick. We're going to put one uh, vertical arrangement. I'm immediately going to rename that. Instead of vertical arrangement, we're going to call this screen one arrangement. That helps me keep uh, in mind what it is. I want to place a second vertical arrangement and immediately rename it to screen two arrangement. So I've got screen one arrangement and I've got screen two arrangement. At this point now, um, these represent my two screens for my application. I need a button in each one to change from one screen to the next. I'm going to put the button in here. I'm going to select the uh, first, the screen one arrangement, and I'm going to go ahead and say fill the parent on that. Set that size to fill the parent. And then on the screen two arrangement, I'm going to do the same thing. All right, we're going to change the text for the button. We're going to make this poetic. We're going to say, uh, go to screen two. That'll be the text on that button. And on uh, the screen in the second screen, we're going to put the text on that one to be all done, screen one. All right, so now we've got a button. These buttons will take us from screen to screen. Let's put a quick element in there. I've preloaded. Uh, some narcissistic graphics. Uh, so we're going to put some images in there. We'll set the image on that one and we'll set the image in the second screen. These are massive uh, so I want to say fill parent on the image. And we'll go back to the second image, do the same thing, set the fill parent. Uh, this is just so we can tell the screen actually is changing uh, when we look at it in, well, either on your device or the emulator. Now, let's jump over to the, well, before we put the, the actual uh, logic in, let's look at this on the emulator. All right, here's our emulator with our application as it stands. And it looks like both screens are displayed simultaneously. We've got um, screen one. You can see this is vertical arrangement one and then vertical arrangement two. So that's not what we want at all. We actually want to see um, just that screen one and then just screen two. So we need to set screen two here invisible when the application starts. So let's go back to the uh, design interface and do that. So when our application starts, we want the screen two arrangement to not be visible. So we just set that invisible. Let's pop the emulator up here real quick. That's more like what we'd want to see. Now, obviously, we might want this to fill out, and we're not worried too much right now about the way it actually looks. We just want to see the functionality. But you could actually make this uh, fill out and actually expand the whole thing. But for right now, uh, we're going to work with the logic. Let's actually set up the logic that switches from screen to screen. I'm going to go back to our blocks editor now and we're going to grab those two buttons um, button one and button two uh, button one which we didn't rename we probably should have was the screen arrangement button uh, to take us to screen two and button two should bring us back to screen arrangement one 
All right, so when button one is clicked, then what do we want? We want screen arrangement one to go invisible. So we should set screen arrangement one visible to false. And then um, at in that same click, directly after screen one goes invisible, we want screen available uh, screen arrangement two to go visible. So look what I've dragged out here. Uh, into my button click event, I have dragged out screen one arrangement set, screen arrange one arrangement visible to false, so it's no longer visible. And then I dragged out uh, screen arrangement two, set screen two arrangement visible to true. So screen arrangement two just became visible. Now, a little clever trick here. I want to copy that event, uh, paste it, drag those out. This is just a shortcut trick and then swap for the other button. So in essence, screen arrangement when button 2 is clicked, then screen arrangement 1 becomes visible, and screen arrangement 2 becomes invisible. Let's see what that does in our emulator now. Wow, look at that. Here's uh, screen 1 with uh, just the first image on it. I hit the button. Hey, wait a minute. What did we do wrong? Yeah, well, apparently the uh, application just needed restarted. Sometimes you'll have to restart the phone app from the blocks editor, and that's what we had here. So I've restarted, and uh, when we click go to screen 2, it, in fact, goes to the next picture. Um, when we say all done, it goes back to screen 1. So, in essence, we have two screens here. This could be done with um, more than one arrangement and far more elements. Um, Use this to create your own um, multi-screen application. So good luck, guys, and happy inventing.